Alright Halos, welcome back. We're in uh, uh, Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Episode 2 DLC. Um, and we just finished this little side area with the optional bonus stuff in the Manta Ray Lounge. Alright, let's see where these guys are. Big Daddy's way over there, that's good. Alright, we should be relatively safe for a minute. Repair the loot test device. Say, who's that? Did I for didn't expect anyone to be out down here to be honest? Where was that bonus thing? I thought it was down here. Wasn't it? Maybe not. Examine the snow globe. Alright. Yeah, I guess the thing wasn't down here that I thought it was. Never mind, never mind. Let's get a few more of these uh, crossbow tranquilizers. A couple more of these guys too. Okay, right, it's through there. Let me take out this guy and get these uh, tranquilizer bolts that are over here, and then we'll, uh, we'll go there. Let's head back in here. Should have everything we need, I think. Cycle the airlock. Uh, 
Uh, inserts. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. <laughs> inserts. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. What else do we need? What's the last thing? Repair it. Uh, fire old man went. Oh, okay. At where? Uh, it's cool the trans. Former at the top of the device. Okay. The whole thing will overheat. Okay, there let's just stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. All right, pull level, lever rather. Activate the Lutest device. What did I tell you? Okay, enter the tear, I guess. Let's do it. Columbia. Never thought I'd come back to Columbia, let alone to that exact moment. First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Oh. So it should Perfect. be here, right? How do we get in here then? Oh, push. Okay. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, oh. the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. What the? Alright. If I take the active particle, then the first lady is just a 40 ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay. I, make a Atlas. I just have to be ready Into to take advantage of it. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Alright, let's use the tear, I guess. Lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear! Power for devices, very expensive. Teach for that? Just tell me what you want. Such a more than something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid! Think, had a cigarette like. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where's his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find All Should right. Should seen that one coming. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, let's find Fink's lab then, I guess. Vox Populi. We must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Pick up iron sights. Oh, okay. What the heck? Barely even saw this. Oh, nice. That's useful. Hold it. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll save this weapon for another time and use our normal weapons now. Uh, let's do the hand cannon for a bit, I guess. 
factory docks. We should try this as well. Haven't tried this yet. Wait, what? Find Fink's lab, but I, I can't go through here. Oh! There's an event, okay. Even had a flag and I couldn't see it. <laughs> Oblivious. Alright. The office of Jeremiah Fink. Oh, well, that was easy. And you done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. Oh, stuck, sorry. Okay, there we go. Alright, interesting. A little backstory into the main story, I guess. Neo Vox, he'll squeal. Oh, okay. Whoops. Okay, I kind of remember this place a little bit. Oh, shoot. Forming a melee attack on an alert enemy will only stun him. Invade your foe until he loses track of you. That okay. only seems to be knocking them back. Interesting. Uh, I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go, but that's fine. I mean, we could check out this side if we want. Also, it looks like there's a thing over there. Fire the noise breaker bolts to distract multiple enemies. Yeah, it's a foxophone in there. Uh, requires... Change. That's what the people need. But sometimes I feel all I have to offer them is blood and fire. Things they done to me. I can't forget them. I was Columbia's victim, and victimhood begets shame. Oh, what element of human experience is more corrosive than shame? I'm rotted from the inside out. What do I have to offer this revolution except my own dark motivations? When all is said and done, what's more important to me? People I want to save are those I want to murder in their beds. Dark. All right, where are we headed? Seems like this way. We could. I guess we could get the money out of the vending machines, though. 
Oh, that didn't do anything. Whoops. Sorry. I thought that one was active. I guess not. Alright. <clears throat> Is there anything over in this direction? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, cool. Let's move on then. Private quarters of Jeremiah Fink. That's an interesting looking thing. Let's find Fink's lab. It says it's in here, but I can't get through. Prayer, leisure, and sleep. And cannon ammo we're good on. Oh, that we're testing the fire. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossible. What's that thing you just picked up? Oh, my guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Yep, uh, let me just quickly finish that audio log that I was listening to there. A current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia, return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. Hmm. All right. Uh, I guess we'll put it in here. A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Very nice. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, that's true. Alright, uh, so what was this first one? Sleep and then prayer and then leisure. Leisure. Whatever you wanna, however you wanna pronounce that. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that, my bad. No, I'm good. I didn't mean to pick up the first one. <laughs> it's definitely not worth it. Alright, there we go. You can see again. No one hidden around here, is there? Doesn't seem like it. But, I mean, what is... Should I press the number? Okay. Snake oil. Able profit and told profit. Okay, well, I'm not taking those cigarettes, so... Alright. Seems like it's a little messed up in the head, but that's probably pretty accurate. Actually, definitely. Let's uh, go to the next one. Alright, leisure. What is this? Wine and a box of phone. Put the box of phone. Sea slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. Okay. Um, I guess let's check this out. 
As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we are all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those with not a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Weird. Okay. Uh, well that didn't do anything. Oh, let's go to work, I guess, yeah. Find Fink's lab. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair. <laughs> Alright, press the button, I guess. Uh oh, someone gonna talk to us? Listen, I got you your gun. I'm here for my own. Are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own... Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Fire a noisemaker bolt to distract multiple enemies. Yeah, I guess I could. Uh, what is that? Oh. Well, why don't we just, uh, kind of get this guy? Show yourself for the box! Put it in your brain! It says that we keep the turret forever with that upgrade that we got, so should be good there. Uh, this is the way we're supposed to go, is it? No, so it's probably a bonus area then, right? Take some money, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, Lockpicks, we're carrying 18 of them, or sorry, six, 8 of them, so should be fine. Armored air enemies are resistant to damage, but remain vulnerable to twink tranquilizer and gas bolts. Tranquilizer. Jesus is right in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Can be knocked out by a melee sneak attack, okay. Alright, what's all this then? Medical kits are full. Switch file cabinet. Boxophone. It's an Eve. Right, let's play this. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. Oh, 8371. Wait, where did he say that was? I was focusing on this lady. Uh, hold on. Where did he say that was again? Uh... 
Blade and Simpsons flies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic near the base of my statue. Set the code to that. Okay. So it, it's in here, basically. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this. that other guy though. That would be big, I think. Dang, I missed. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Come on, shoot the weapon. Take him out. Wow, those melee guys just wreck them. Alright, well at least we got the big guys out. Handyman wing. What the heck is that? That is very strange, but okay. Uh, let's go into the vent, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. We, uh, this episode has gone very long. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and stop it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next part. Sorry about the bit of a cliffhanger there, but, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to have the recording go quite this long. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.